This is Redbeard, and in this adventure, I test out my new tent, a Wingman of the Road Toucan, and I also take my Miata camping for the first time. Before we get into reviewing this Wingman of the Road Toucan, I'd like to explain why the Miata and not the Goldwing. You, you see, it's the tent's fault. I bought this tent to be a little easier on the camping. It's, it's integrated, you'll, you'll see in the review, but it doesn't fit on the bike. Uh, but I still wanted to test it, and the only thing I have to test it is either put it in the trailer or put it on the Miata. So to the Miata it went. For the full review, wait till the end of this video. A lot of people say uh, Miata is not uh, practical for camping. That, that may be, but, but neither is a uh, Honda CBR 300R. And the last time I went camping, I, I took that. Uh, one major difference for this is I'm, I'm bringing food. I'm going to be preparing food while camping this time. Last time was a one night. This is a three night camping trip. So we'll we'll see how it does. I'll put some of these uh, camp chair bags get on a fire. Some grocery and water for ignition. Stuff. I'll have to figure. And that's all I put in there. Now you might be saying, "What about your tent? What about your sleeping bag? What about all that?" Well, that's where my toucan comes in handy. This has got my my uh, tent, my sleeping pad, my sleeping bag. All in. With my car loaded up, my head down to North Georgia. So I just finished breakfast, and I, I thought I'd show you around my campsite. So I, I used my little MSR stove. That's that uh, dual fuel. You use the camp fuel or like regular unleaded gasoline, depending on which jet you have on there. Uh, I brought that this time, so uh, I didn't have to bring the the big stove. Although I wanted to have pizza last night, but or the other night, but that's okay. Uh, then I got my two boxes that I, I use. One of them I keep, uh, so one of them that one has like all the bedding and pillows and stuff. And then this one obviously is all my kitchen stuff. And then my cooler, I kept that all under that flap yesterday while I was away. Uh, and then this is my tent that I just tried out. The Wingman, or just tested out. The Wingman of the World uh, Road, Wingman of the Road Toucan. And it works pretty well, um, but it is it is tiny. I can kind of sit up in it, but not really. So it's best to change clothes outside of it. So I've kind of already started packing up, um, but it comes with this fairly thin sleeping bag and pad, and this is all this all stays inside. And so the pad and the sleeping bag are zipped together so they don't move. But if you uh, if you're going to be out I'm gonna say below 50. I think this would probably be good for uh, uh, down to 50. I picked up this uh, this little fleece blanket. This is uh, Cabela's getaway sleeping bag fleece liner. But stuffed inside the sleeping bag, it got down to about 30. I, I stayed pretty toasty in there. So that was good. Keep my power station nearby keep things charged up so I also got a flashlight on. While hanging around North Georgia, I decided to do some exploring and I'm glad I did. I found Vogel State Park. This is a cool state park. They got cottages you can rent. They do have a campground. They got this lake and a stream. They got uh, a, nice, a nice bridge. You got these covered shelters as well. Evidently some bear country. After some time in North Georgia, I head up to one of my favorite spots in Tennessee. So I'm, I'm not able to uh, to ride on the Cherry Halo Skyway or the Dragon. I just ran out of time uh, coming up here to uh, Teleco Plains. So I did camp in Teleco Plains. It's a little colder than uh, than uh, the forecast was. The forecast said it'd be down to like 40 and it got down below 30. Uh, ice on my tent, ice on everything outside, ice on my car as you can see, it's, it's defrosting. So while it's a frosty, I thought I'd provide a little update. So this is a Mecca Camp Resort right here in Teleco Plains. It's a, a little outside of what I would call Teleco Plains proper. Um, but it's pretty pretty nice little spot. Uh, the camping doesn't have water or electricity available. Uh, so in order to charge my power station, I used uh, an empty RV spot. Um, but it, it's uh, not too bad. Yeah, that is where my tent was. I sat there and made uh, uh, made supper last night in the dark. And then this morning I came over here by my car. 
sat here on the gravel underneath the light because it was so dark when I was making breakfast. It just got quite cold in that tent. So I'm guessing when the weather's warmer, that's where they put the hammocks. They have a few hammocks you can rent, uh, tarps over them, so you can do some hammock camping. Got some kind of little yurts going on there too. So this is just off of uh, what I believe is Mecca Highway. Administration there, so you check in there. They have a pool, which I didn't avail myself of, and uh, it's a neat little picnic area. And if you bring kids with you, they even have a, a small play structure. Um, and there is where I got warmed up a couple times last night. That's the bathhouse. I'll show you that. So uh, you come into this bathhouse here. It's easy to show now because there's hardly anybody here. Most everybody is hunkered down in their warm RVs. Um, but they have uh, showers and then male and female bathrooms. So here we have a shower. It's pretty basic in design. You have a mirror, place to sit, and then the shower. And thankfully, that water does run nice and hot. The bathrooms are kind of neat. I mean, yeah, whatever. It's got a toilet. Uh, but the, the sink, I thought, was a pretty neat uh, deal. They use these barrels and bucket. And then you use, uh, use these rags here to dry your hands off. But all of the bathrooms and the showers have uh, electrical outlets, so that's handy. And uh, that's my quick stay at uh, Mecca Camp Resort. It's time to go on to uh, a work meeting now in Chattanooga. Uh, but yeah, would I recommend this for uh, long-term tent camping? No, it's, it looks pretty good for uh, just a base of operations, maybe a place to sleep. But um, not long-term. It doesn't have the electricity or the water readily available. But uh, it looks like for RVs, be uh, be pretty nice for RVs. They got full hookup here. What do I think of the Wingman of the Road Toucan? Well, it doesn't fit my riding style. I really like the idea of it that you can have your tent, your sleeping bag, your ground pad all in one. So you just unroll it, put in your your poles, and you're done. Time to sleep. But it uh, it doesn't carry well for my particular type of bike. If you have like a cruiser or maybe a uh, a sport touring bike it might it might work well for you but for the Goldwing it just doesn't fit and if I gotta bring my trailer I'm gonna bring a bigger tent and the tent is a little small for me as well I'm just a little over six foot I'm over 250 pounds it's a small tent even though I got the toucan now my dad has a, a similar style he doesn't have the wingman in the room but he's got a similar style and he really likes his. Uh, he's, he's shorter than I am and it fits him great, but it does take up a lot of room in the tent. But he still likes how you can set it up quickly. Likes the canvas, likes how it's a four season tent. Uh, the foam in his seems to be better than mine. So there's one thing I would do if I were to keep this thing, would take out a thin foam and maybe put some type of memory foam or something in there, which would indeed make it heavier, but more comfortable. So all in all, this tent is just not for me. It's a great tent, but not for me. If you're interested, I'll be selling this thing. I'll probably buy myself a small Kodiak canvas tent, because one thing I have learned is I do really enjoy sleeping on a cot. Uh, so a tent big enough for a cot would be great for me. So the Kodiak canvas would fit well in my, in my trailer and I can put a cot in there as well. Uh, total room is probably more than the, the toucan, but if I'm gonna bring a trailer, I use the space and uh, get more comfortable. So until my next adventure, this is Redbeard. See you on the road.